What's up? It's your boy Samson. And on this episode of Just Kicking It, we just out here kicking it with bees today at the Innovator Signatures. Let's get into it. What's the word, bro? What's you up, feeling? boy? Man, appreciate you coming through, man. I'm right, proud, you know. Come on, check us out. I see. My name's Samson. It's the homie Bees. We in Innovator Signatures, and we about to get into it. You know, I know who Bees is, but I let the people know who Bees is. Uh, Bees a guy from the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Just a regular guy who had a vision, you know, some dreams and some goals. And I wanted to use them dreams and goals as I reached those to just help family, friends, and just the community, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a can do, just go hard for everything that I want. I'm an innovator. You know? See the kicks, so what's your shoe collection say about you? My shoe collection says about me is that I'm a go at what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm very great and ambitious at whatever I set my mind to do. You know what I'm saying? And I go hard for it. Um, I don't, I don't take any L's as a loss. I always take them as lessons and I build off of that. So my shoe collection, you know, it's, it's stylish. So you can tell I'm a guy with some style. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like to be comfortable. And, and, and the ones is a comfort fit shoe. You know what I'm saying? So I like to be comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So you would say the ones is your favorite? Um, Yeah, 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 to wear like an everyday shoe is my favorite because okay. it's comfortable and it's still stylish, you know what I'm saying? So with music and sports, because I know your background, music, sports, how does that play into being an entrepreneur? Oh man, just like in music and sports, you got to be um disciplined, you got to be creative, you know what I'm saying? You got to be ambitious. You got to go get it. Because when you play in sports and music, it's, it's competitive. Right. So you got to go hard at what you do. So when you get into the business world, you compete with other businesses that may have similar things to as you may, you know what I'm saying, be selling or whatever, merchandising. So that's how they play hand in hand. Playing sports just made my focus lock in a lot more right. on when I started to do a business because I took that competitive edge from being a rap artist right. or playing sports and just moved it over into the business world. Cause it's like, like I know, like how we met baseball and baseball is the thinking man sport. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. it's like being an entrepreneur, you gotta always be on your feet and thinking. Yes sir, he was better than me at baseball. So I had to get my game up on entrepreneurship to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm shopping, you know, still shopping. I appreciate it, I appreciate <laughs> it. Cause that's my favorite sport. But yes, with that, you know, music, we gonna jump back into music. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't tour with, with our greatest, yeah. Twister. Songs with Cold Heart, Crucial Conflict, yeah. Do or Die, just to name a few. How was that going on the road, like with people that, you know what I'm saying, you looked up to? Man, it's, it's exciting, bro. It's exciting just to know that, like, the legends, you know, that you looked up to from, you know, the Twisters, the Crucial Conflicts, Do or Die, Bone Thugs and Harmony. We grew up listening to them. And for right. them to embrace me and to share stage with me and give me game mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying, motivate me, it was just like um, part of that dream, you know what I'm saying, right. coming to reality. So, Man, they welcomed me with open arms, you know, even Shauna from Chicago. It's right. just like, it's just been a dope journey to um, learn from them guys, um, get knowledge of them being in the industry and just having fun. Like, we really kick it, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, they even ain't been to my house, you know what I'm saying? So we got that type of relationship. So it's a dope bond. And just to know the work that I put in is recognized by, by the greats of our city, you know? So you're saying dropping knowledge. I'm going to tell you something happened to me. While I was at work, you know, I got a nine to five still. But I was delivering. Mm -hmm. Your cousin, as soon as I come out, he 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 cut straight to it. Like, hey, you gonna do this for yourself? Yeah. It was about to drop everything and just give me the game right there. Like, hey, you don't need them. We can do this ourselves. Yeah, that's T yeah. Black. That's yeah. T Black. AK Uchi, man. What's up, cuz? But yeah, he um he a hard worker, man. Like he just started his own company. He um always been under my wing. He right. always looked up to me as like a big brother figure. You know what I'm saying? So as he see me progress, you know, he didn't click in in his mind like, yo, I got to help mm -hmm. because big bro get to 
where he going and it's going to open up the door. So I'm happy to say I've been able to uh, recently write his company its first two checks, right. you know what I'm saying? So he, he very hard working, man. He disciplined and ambitious, too. And that's something that, like, in our culture, people don't do. It's like they more look at us like crap. But yeah. as you saying, innovator. Yeah. You know, he that's what he came straight to it. He, ain't know, he don't even know me from black. He was right. like, hey. You don't got to do that with them. Do this over <laughs> yeah. here. We're going to show you the way. Yeah, let's build. And that's what we have to do as a culture. Like, it don't have to, you could teach how to get, like how you said, twist the door down when people get you knowledge. Yeah. And how he just jumped off the ball and just telling me, like, hey, you don't got to work for them. We can start Man. your own right now. That's what we need to that's do in real. our community more. When you see your shirt say, Man. Bad to live. Bad to live, live man. Matter. So it's like, what yeah. you think about, like, just be, you got two sons. And everything going on, like they can't go outside and play like we did. Oh uh, yeah, it's different, man. I think about that all the time, man. That's why I try to really get involved in um in their lives and mm -hmm. other kids' lives. So what I had done, man, I volunteered down rec area, right. you know what I'm saying? I volunteered like two, three years straight, man. I didn't want no money or anything. I just went in there and just started helping training kids with basketball. I felt, you know what I'm saying, that whenever I had the time to do it, it would be genuine, you right. know what I'm saying? Because some people get in there when they, it'd be a job for some people. So mm -hmm. they just go in there and just work their hours and that's and it. They really, it. yeah, they not really putting in the valuable time or really recognizing what them, them specific kids may need. So for me, taking away like them not being able to play outside as much, I just try to keep my kids and, you know, kids that's within the community that I can reach in a gym environment. So right now we just, in the process right now, we just started our own AAU so, team, you know what I'm saying? So we finna get some kids rocking and rolling, man. And see, being with that, like, people don't even know, like, sometimes, like, you just being out there helping the kids out, that's like the father figure that they had never have, because some of these people have to work so hard, their father yeah. can't even come see the game. And it's yeah, like, that's you right. mentor these kids, and they go in there, just like some people, like you said, just go their hours and get up out of there. Yeah. And then you start an AAU for... For the for the youth and everything like that, that's big. That's that's real big. That's major. Uh, yeah, man. Something that we always, you know, wanted. Even though we was able to play in rec league and stuff like yeah. that, I was never able, or you know, fortunate or financially able to coming up, do a lot of them sporting things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Single parent home. My mom did what she could for for oh, us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. that's how I'm a hustler like I what am now. What up, Mama Brad? <laughs> you know how you saying? doing? <laughs> that's how I'm a hustler like how I am now because you know I seen her grind it out and make sure we was at the best we could be, you know Indeed. what I'm saying? But I always the person that wanted more, you know what I'm saying? So, man, my mentality just just, just different, bro. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm locked in, and man, and, and we want to just do what we can for the kids, man, and just for the community, period. Want to teach them something different. And so being a father, like, how does that play into, like, everything? Like, balancing, you know what I'm saying? You're an entrepreneur, you do music, you do this, and yeah. then you got two kids of your own. It's, it's it's hard, bro. It's hard, but you got to find a way because I always try to teach them it ain't no excuses. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, I got the trucking going right. on as well, right? So when I'm on a roll with trucking, what's so cool about this era, you know what I'm saying? You can always FaceTime right. or so, like, video chat. That. Yeah, we didn't have that. So, like, if I'm on a roll and my kids got to practice or a game, I'm always FaceTime and, and you know what I'm saying, being, being in tune engage with what they're doing so when I when a practice over or when I do get off the road mm -hmm. rather this truck driving or music you know what I'm saying when I do get off the road I could talk to my son about what he did good or what he did bad you know what I'm saying or what he need to work on you know what I'm saying so I'm always engaged I just try to use the technology for its advantage you know what I'm saying to stay real in tune and with that's it. a big word you just used right there engagement because it's like you could be a parent but you got to know what's going on yeah because it's like you showing them like, hey, you got many ways you can get it. You don't got to get it because if you don't know his sons play basketball, they out yeah. here, little boy out here shaking people. Yeah. You said he, he play on a sixth grade team? Yeah, he in fourth grade and he play on a sixth grade team. He, um, when he was in first grade, he played on third grade level. So he just been progressing, you know what I'm saying? Like you not settling, but it's like you locked in and you in engagement to his life. So it's like in that, like most fathers, they just like there for the game, like look at what yeah. boy did. But if you right there, you showing them like, hey, he gonna look up like my daddy did this, yeah. did this, did that, did that. So he gonna like, as you saying, 
he gonna try to outdo you, and that's yeah. gonna be great. I, I tell him to outdo me, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to DJ3, Deshaun <laughs> Jones. Gotta get him plugged out there. <laughs> but yeah, what I do is, you know, when I'm at the games, I try to record the good and the bad. We go home, we look at it just like game footage, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or if he don't understand the play or whatever, we look, I, I, I film it and record it and run it back. I always tell him to be greater than me, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't just look at me and look at me as being um, the goal, you know right. what I'm saying? Look past me being the goal, you know? Um, I tell them I played a little high school basketball. You, I want you to go beyond that, you right. know what I'm saying? I tell them I got businesses, so right now I'm trying to put his whole campaign together so he can start being an entrepreneur early, right you now. know what I'm saying? So we working on it. What was your first job, your first nine to five? My first nine to five? Uh, I honestly want to say my first legit one, um, I worked at a car wash and I worked at a Big Dollar Max 10, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That was the first job that was uh, really cutting me a check. So I, I think I started off in the car wash first, yeah. So doing that, what what made you want to be an entrepreneur? Like just working there, somebody giving you a salary rather than what you can earn? I think, man, I think uh, just early in my life period, I think it was kind of just in me. Like, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I always knew I didn't want to be regular Joe, you know what I'm saying? I either wanted to be some type of NFL player or a basketball player. So mm -hmm. basketball and rap is 1A and 1B as right. far as my love to entertainment and rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to always rap, so I never looked at myself to just being, even though you're employed when you in the league, right. but, you know, you get the finances to where you can start your own stuff right. too, you know what I'm saying? So like, even when I was working them jobs, it just, I just felt unappreciated. Right. And, I'm not, and I can't call nobody my boss. Like I didn't have a father there right. to call dead and be my boss. So right. I couldn't see myself calling somebody else my boss for too long. And two, I felt like working in some of the workplaces, like you were put in the work, like I worked in retail and I put in the work I wouldn't get a pat on the shoulder, but when mm -hmm. someone done it, they'd be like, why this ain't done? And right. Why that ain't done? And then one day I was told to scrape some gum off the floor. And I'm just like, man, I ain't that type of dude. You know right, what I'm saying? That just, that just wasn't for me. So I had to figure it out. And I didn't necessarily know what I was going to do, but I knew I was going to do something. You right. know what I'm saying? So through the schooling and everything like that, because I know you went to SIU. Yeah. You, you started basically like Thornton, going back, hitting the tables, you rapping. Yeah. How did that journey like bring you to where you at now? Man, you know what? Um, from Thornton, uh, Thornton tough. You know what I'm saying? The neighborhood, Indeed. the school tough. So they help build up your character. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, it helped give me a vision. Cause when I was at Thornton, I didn't know what I was gonna go to college for. Right. I went to college for mass communication, radio, TV, broadcasting. You know what I'm saying? I figured that out in Thornton cause we had the radio, right. TV program. So when I got to college, I um, was there for mass communication, like I said. Um, I really thought it was going to be more hands-on. So when they started throwing the curveballs, you got to do world philosophy, you mm -hmm. got to do this. I wasn't really interested. I just wanted to get hands-on and go from there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But um, what was dope about college, it just opened my eyes up that it was a bigger world out there. Like, being from here, I just really only knew, like, even music-wise, Fast rap was my right. thing, just because uh, I listened to Twist the Future right. Conflict, you know what I'm saying, them type of rappers. Yeah, Chicago. So when I got to SIU, they was listening to Lil Jon and the mm -hmm. East Side Boys. I'm like, people really like this, but that was really turning the party up. And then I seen how different coaches, right? And then um, in one class, they asked this one kid, what was the um, one thing that he experienced in college that he never experienced in life? He said he never seen the black person mm. in person, only on TV. Oh, wow. And that was like, that That just amazed me. Like, you ain't never seen the black person in your... I'm thinking in my mind, how is it possible like, we see black from? and white? Right. Yeah. And when you think about it, when you're driving down SIU, mm -hmm. all them little towns all where towns. you see one house and then it's like seven miles later is another house. So and then you know you're halfway there when you see the little file yeah. up in the L. Yeah, for real. I did. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I did. Um, just a teacher was just like, you know, when y'all intern, just um, make sure you keep resources. You know what I'm saying? So that resource and relationship word always stood out to me and it came on later into music and business because mm -hmm. a lot of my resources for music stems back to like SIU mm -hmm. and high school, you know what I'm saying? So just staying connected like producers, you know right. what I'm saying? Like squad Stand and you know what I'm yeah. saying? The beat boys, like I still get production from them guys and they 
successfully in the industry right now, but I kept that resource and that relationship with them. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it translate. I realized that like, yo, it ain't it ain't. It's a lot of this about who you know. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So is. yeah, so building the relationships and who you know it gets you through some doors. So that helped me transition from that time period mm -hmm. to up to date. You right. know what I'm saying? That's what's up. And then I know earlier you said about this trucking. We about to get into it. I know you got a yeah. couple of them things outside. We about to go definitely. look at them and talk about them. Definitely, definitely. All right, man. Let's, Let's go make check that out. happen. Let's go check out these trucks and let me let you know what got me in the game. <laughs> So you was talking about these the trucks and everything like that. I see you got two of your babies out here. Yeah, I got two of my babies right here. Okay. Uh, this right here is what we consider a hot shot dually. I, I, love, I love this. I'm not going to lie. I really love this, man. It's a big boy toy. You can use it as a toy, but this is a work vehicle. So we got some of the equipment actually up in here that we use. Yeah, the hauling equipment. Yeah, so when we put, so we haul up, we, we hook the 40 foot trailer to this hitch back here, you know what I'm saying? These black things? To that ball right okay, there. Okay, I see it. And then the chains that's on the trailer hook up to those so as an emergency, yeah, just okay. an extra security, security. measure. Right. So a 40 foot flatbed connects to the back of this and we haul general freight. Okay. So we take anything from pipes, poles, tractors, uh, stuff to different work sites like if they rebuilding some stuff and we could haul that right. so we pull off a load board i got my own authority and own mc some people get trucks and they sign on to somebody else's company right so i'm in a position where like say if you wanted to get a truck mm -hmm. and you didn't have your authority i can sign you on to my company okay so we hire your drivers to drive these they go a lot of midwest runs wisconsin minnesota missouri stuff like that and then right here we got a sprinter, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Out yeah, that's the sprinter right here. And then we also operate the semi trucks, the 18 wheelers. Right. That's what I love to do personally out of all of them, you know what I'm saying? And it's a lucrative business. It's it's an expensive business, Indeed. but I would tell people who don't know what they want to do in life, at least get a CDL because it pay the bills, you know right, what I'm saying? Do. What would you tell the 17 year old bees? What I would tell 17-year-old bees, get your credit right, baby. You credit. know what I'm saying? If my credit all the way right, I can go in there with a little down payment or no down payment. Right. And then I can invest into a money maker and make that money back. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I would tell 17-year-old me is just get your credit right. You know what I'm saying? What's the difference of like Man. when you was a worker and now you, you, you the boss? As me being the boss, if I want to fly out of town today, I can leave today. I don't have to call in and say, yo, can I get the day off or Everybody got none of that voice. stuff, you know what I'm saying? But the responsibility is, is more. Like, right. I'm responsible to make sure that this thing is operating the way it need to be, that I'm getting the right people in place. And a lot of times, though, like, even with the store innovators, I got business partners. So right. shout out to Alicia and Tabitha. Tabitha, shout out to Alicia and Tabitha, you know what I'm saying? They my business partner with innovators. So they keep the day-to-day -day going on that. But just like, man, it's just, it's just more freedom for me. Right. It's more challenging, too, because I got to do for self. Right. So it's exciting. It's exciting to me, opposed to getting up. You know how you wake up and dread going to punch somebody else's man, clock. I'm, when I'm I wake up, I'm like, I got to go get the bacon. Once if I go do this, I'm finna bring the money in. Right. You know what I'm saying? What's something that you can give to the people of not giving up on their dreams? Man, I, I say it like this, man. I tell everybody. We got one life to live, bro. Indeed. So you might as well live it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, to mine, promise. So at the end of the day, whatever you trying to chase or trying to do or trying to get to it. You know right. what I'm saying? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly proving people wrong to doubt us. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't even about them. It's really about myself and my family and the ones around me. Because that's what matters the most. The doubt is going to always be there. Indeed. So. I'm your boy, Samson. This my homie, Beads. Yes, sir. We was at Innovators. Yeah. Down to live and shout out to Ed for the throne. You know how we do it under everything and reason. And we'll yes, get sir. at you.